Have you ever marveled at the transformative power of steel? Throughout history, this extraordinary alloy has shaped civilizations and propelled industries forward. Get ready for a thrilling journey into the heart of steel. Welcome to ISL Presents Steel Uncovered, the art of manufacturing. Join us as we reveal the mysteries of the flat steel industry. Ever pause to admire the components that fuel your ride's power and grace? Picture those sleek rims effortlessly gliding on the asphalt, the rumbling exhaust mufflers, and the reliable handles steering you through every twist and turn. Today, we're shining on the spotlight on Supertech, which transforms steel into high-performance components. Step 1. Material Selection Choosing the right material is paramount as it directly impacts the performance and reliability of the finished product. Prime quality cold rolled steel slitted coils are procured from International Steels Limited, ensuring the rim can withstand the rigors of the road. Step 2. Rim forming, rolling and cutting. Rims are created by applying high pressure to shape and mold the metal. The sheets undergo a forming process where they are shaped into the initial profile of the rim. The partially formed rim is then rolled to achieve the desired diameter and thickness before being cut into separate rims. Step 3. Welding and Machining Once welded, joints are finished using grinders to ensure a smooth and seamless surface to the rim. After the initial formation, the rim undergoes machining process to refine its shape, dimensions and the surface finish. Step 4. Spoke Hole Machining After rolling, the rim undergoes machining processes to create the spoke holes. Step 5. Surface Finishing Once the rim has been formed and machined, it undergoes surface finishing treatments and anodizing to enhance its appearance and protect against corrosion. Step 6. Nipple Forging Heading Threading The spoke nipple, a headed cylinder that connects a motorcycle's rim to each spoke is forged from steel rods or wires. These are cut into smaller sections of uniform length to create individual nipples. A heading machine applies high pressure to shape one end of each nipple, creating the initial form of the nipple. After the basic shape is formed, the nipples undergo threading to create internal threads suitable for attaching to the spokes. Step 7. Surface Treatment Surface treatments such as plating or coating are employed on nipples to improve corrosion resistance and appearance. Step 8. Wire Drawing Steel wire is drawn through a series of dies to reduce its diameter and improve its surface finish, creating long, continuous wire with the desired mechanical properties. Step 9. Cutting, heading, and threading. Once the wire has been drawn to the appropriate diameter, it is cut into individual spoke blanks for uniform length. These are then shaped into heads using a heading machine. This head will later be inserted into the hub of the wheel. The other end of each spoke is threaded to allow for attachment to the rim of the wheel. Step 10. Surface Treatments and Quality Control Spokes and nipples undergo surface treatments such as plating and coating to improve their corrosion resistance and appearance. Throughout the manufacturing process, rigorous quality control measures are implemented to ensure that they meet the specified standards. Step 11. Packing and Dispatch After quality checking, rims, spokes and nipples are carefully packaged and prepared for their journey to customers nationwide. Combining strength with sleek design, motorcycle rims play a vital role in both the safety and aesthetics of your ride. Stay tuned for the next episode of ISL Steel Uncovered.